everyone. I look for a lot of different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Avengers Affinity War movie and how these are as vision boards repeated over and over again and it's a way that the devil tries to manipulate things upon the earth between here and heaven. In scripture Jesus Christ said what is released on earth is released in heaven. What is bound on earth is bound in heaven. There's a type of mirror effect going on. So that's why you will see this type of fight between the light and the dark all around us. A deceptive theme and also you'll see a good-hearted theme. But today we're going to show how this is an abomination of the Bible and that Tony Stark in the middle here represents Satan and what is called the wicked tenants that are meant to be destroyed at the end of days. In this movie Tony Stark, who lives in the top of a tower, matching the description of what's called the Wicked Tenants, and the Doctor Strange character trade everything and this woman's life so that they can live and give everything to this big guy here of death. But that scripture is reversed, because Tony Stark represents Satan as we showed the Wicked Tenants. Parable of the wicked husbandmen and of what's called the wicked tenants. These are the ones that killed Jesus and then are meant to be destroyed at the end of days when Jesus Christ and the Father come. The parable of the wicked tenants. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and digged a wine press in it and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. The earth is basically leased out to who is controlling it and now the angels have fallen and the wicked fallen angels are running the earth until the father could take them out. He let it out to husbandmen. They are in a tower that is hedged about that we really can't see. Just as in here Tony Stark lives in a tower and runs all of the world. His destiny is to be killed and for this woman to basically take him out. It's in many different religions. It's in the Hindu religions. Raktabaja, the Iron Man, is seen as the Red Devil Satan. And he has many, many minions. See all the little guys down there? Raktabaja. It is known as the Blood Seed. And that represents, in the biblical terms, of the woman's seed versus the, the seed of the demon. I will put enmity between thee and the woman, between thy seed and her seed. Jesus is from the seed of the woman. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. But between the two seeds. And that's Rockbajah's all the demons there. And in, and in this legacy, Kali... The mother figure turns dark. She can be either color, white, dark, blue, and she changes into darkness and drinks him all up as the four horsemen and Jesus take him out. The same thing in the same religions. It's shown over and over again. Kali. She fights the beast out of the sea. Stay with me. This is deep. See, the woman fights the dragon. Known as the beast out of the sea. Well, we will begin to witness these signs in every way because of this mirror effect. Kelly Ripa, Kali, the same scenario. In this series here, Michael Strahan has left now, and this guy here has now come in for a contract. He just started. He has about eight months on the job. Ryan Seacrest, See the symbolism of the beast out of the sea, trying to take the table and the magic wand, basically, with the woman, and to run everything. Right there in front of us, over and over again. Him and his minions. 
So that's why in this movie, there he is, see, Rakbaja, he wants to get rid of the one woman that can take him out. So that's why they actually got rid of her. Gamora's fate in Infinity, in Infinity War, they killed her off in a big trade. Eve in green. So that's why you end up with situations like that there. Well, the wicked tenants, it's talked of how are they going to be destroyed. They have a tower. They kill the prophets and the saints and the servants. But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son, Jesus. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said unto among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto these husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miser miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Their meant to be destroyed. They're trying to make every deal they can. The wicked. The great red dragon. Behold, a great red dragon. We've also seen that with Donald Trump. Make America great again. And all of his minions living in the tower. So you can see it. it's not just him, it's ten different kings around the world. Obama was part of this also, of the seven heads and ten horns of this beast. Seven heads and ten horns. The great red dragon, known as Rakbaja, the seed of the devil. There he is. Same picture. There he is, trying to act like Jesus in the middle. So that's what was going on in this movie and why they got rid of and killed off this girl and their symbolism to try to just more wicked things going on. Now here's where Jesus Christ and all of them get rid of them. Isaiah 66 and 65. Heaven is my throne. Rejoice with Jerusalem. God's final judgments against the wicked. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fire and his rebuke with flames of fire. It's a lot of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So that's the end of the wicked tenants right there, which just happens to be Armageddon. This is the valley of Megiddo near Israel in Jerusalem. Armageddon is fought right here. 66 and 65. Isaiah 66 and Isaiah 65. The judgment against the wicked and the judgments and the promises will be kept to everyone. So just keep faith and know that it's all real. And you can see the fallen angels fighting right here. They're not living in the sewers, guys. These fallen angel things are, are, are in the tops of the towers, living with all the big rich and all the world rulers. Those ten kings are, are world rulers that Jesus fights. And the ten horns what thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet but received power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind. It doesn't matter who they are or what they look like. They all have one mind. The mind of legion who is many. These shall make war with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them. 
valley of Armageddon, Megiddo. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So that's why they wanted to kill off this Gomorrah girl in the movie, to save the rich guy in the tower. To save him. Because she's the one that has to drink up all of these little demons and get rid of them. Because every time his blood hits the ground, it, it turns into another demon. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see all of you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. What have you seen going on? It's right in front of you all day long. Kelly, Callie, and there's part of the beast out of the sea, tricking everyone. One of his avatars. It's just the way these things are done. It plays out all across the earth. This guy's not evil in any way that, that I know of, but it's just the way that they do their voodoo. It's a big voodoo type thing going on. That's why they make these movies. Not a little bit. It consumes every ounce of their being. That's every thought, every move they make, every drop of blood consumes them in a type of voodoo fashion. And they live by those things. God help us all. There's Satan right there. There he is. Trying to look like Jesus. This guy sacrificed the woman. Jesus saves the woman. Hallelujah.